Hi all, uh, welcome to the demo of migrating VMware instances uh, from vSphere to CloudStack to KVM. Uh, this is going to be a quick uh, first, uh, kind of a first look into a feature, so this will not be an in-depth video, but just a demonstration and uh, explanation how things are working. So in front of me I have a CloudStack installation, and I also have opened uh, the vSphere uh, or the vCenter console or, or the web UI if you like, just to be able to show you what's going on when we do the migration. So the migration tool is located in the tool section under import export instances. Now we want to choose the source hypervisor as VMware, which is selected by default, and we want to say we want to migrate the existing instance to KVM. So from VMware to KVM. Now on the right side, uh, sorry, on the right side of this UI, uh, we need to basically uh, connect to a vCenter and list VMs. Now there are two options. We can either connect to an external vCenter, which is not part of the cloud stack, for example, which is kind of a probably most uh, frequent uh, use case, uh, where you would need to specify the vCenter IP or or, or fully qualified domain name, uh, the data center name, and of course username and password. Or we can use any existing vCenter, which is already part of our cloud stack installation, which is what I'm going to do. Either way, uh, there is no difference in the process. Uh, the idea is you need to connect to the vCenter, list the VMs, and uh, initiate the migration. So I'm going to choose my uh, zone where I know that I have a VMware data center, and I'm going to choose my existing data center, and I'm going to click on list uh, VMware instances. Now, below I'm getting a list of VMware instances. You can see uh, three of them. Uh, this is some special one managed by CloudStack, but basically three, uh, three VMs. If I go to my vSphere installation, that, as I said, is part of the CloudStack, you will see exactly those. 136, 137, 201. As you can see, 136, 137, 201. Now, for the tool migration to work properly or actually to ensure a kind of a um, graceful migration and a full, uh, full basically, uh, hopefully a full success. Uh, during the migration process, it's required that the VMs will be powered off. Uh, I'm just going to show you an uh, pop-up if I click on import instance, which is powered on, it gives you a proper explanation and uh, basic advice that you should be uh, looking for uh, migrating VM while it's in a power off state. Now, um, in my case, uh, I want to migrate a VM which is already deployed in cloud stack, but it's deployed on VMware. Let me just briefly show you this instance. This is the Ubuntu Reef uh, VM, which is actually deployed on VMware. We can look for the internal name of the instance because this is what we need to, to basically target in our import export tool. So we want to basically migrate this instance from VMware to KVM, even in even though this is now this instance is actually exists in cloud stack, we'll later delete the source instance. So again, uh, we are going to go to the tool section, import export instances, choose to migrate instance from KVM, and again, I'm going to choose my zone where I have already uh, uh, my VMware data center, and I'm going to find my instance, this is the one. So I'm going to hit OK. Uh, sorry, I'm going to select the, this one and click on the Import Instance button. Now we have the option to give it a display, display uh, name. Um, obviously, you can do whatever, whatever name you like. Um, and optionally, you can change the host name, which is basically the HTTP name uh, as handled by the virtual router. If you don't fill the domain, uh, or the project ID, then you are uh, importing this instance to your own account, uh, but alternatively you can import the instance for other people or uh, your other customers by choosing a domain and then later an account, or you can import the instance uh, to be owned by a project. Optionally, you can choose which KVM host needs to execute the conversion process or just leave it uh, automatically selected. And now on the left, we have uh, details which are basically uh, obtained from the VMware side. The current VM uh, has one a CPU and, and one gig or one gig of RAM. So we can choose whatever we like over here, but let's, let's choose the same size, same size, uh, let's say of the VM, so to say. 
Um, after selecting this, we will need to uh, select to which network we want to attach it. I'm going to attach it to this specific network. This is all a matter of planning. And now, since this VM is already part of Cloud Stack, I need to uh, check this button, which effectively will, uh, if you check the pop up, it will, uh, in case this MAC, MAC address exists in the Cloud Stack database, and it does because this is a VM uh, on VMware but in Cloud Stack, then a new MAC address will be generated for this converted VM. And I'm going to hit the OK button, which will initiate the process. Now, what will happen in the background, uh, you will see here that we have a uh, uh, here we have a clone VM task initiated, so we're going to clone the VM first. Uh, the reason for cloning is to consolidate the disks because after this we invoke a virt v2v tool which expects a flat single disk. So that's the reason we are cloning the VM, so we're not touching the source VM. During this whole process, uh, first the VM is cloned, then we will uh, use virt 2 v uh, in the background. You can check the logs on the KVM host, which is performing the conversion. And uh, the virt 2 v will uh, boot a temporarily VM using the VMDKs, uh, inject uh, KVM drivers, or more specifically virt IO drivers inside the VM, and uh, later convert these to QCOW2 files, which is the native format for KVM. And then later on, it will import a VM into cloud stack now this process takes a long time so i'm not going to obviously wait here for uh, quite a few minutes because this is a full-blown ubuntu uh, vm but instead i'm going just to show you a result uh, of a successful import this is literally uh, like this waiting for a couple of minutes and then you'll get a success message or obviously potentially a failure uh, but let's assume a success and i'll just show you how this looks so this is the ubuntu imported instance uh, which is on KVM and uh, one of the things that you want to uh, note is that the VMs are imported in a stopped state uh, you can confirm that it's connected to your network which you've chosen previously you can check the volumes and so on of the VM but what's important to note that the operating system type will not be whatever is the original one so you might want to actually uh, edit the instance and uh, say that this is Ubuntu uh 2204 lts and click ok after which you can actually just go and uh start your start your instance now i'm obviously simulating that i have that i'm starting the vm which was already migrated because this import process takes a long time to complete um, that's pretty much it uh now the the this is again a video for the feature uh first look uh, you can look for more details on a couple of great presentations uh, from uh, uh, our community members uh, and get more details in the official CloudStack documentation. Uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching.